The spectacular Dinah Shore Tournament Course in Rancho Mirage, California, is host to this week's ANA Inspiration, the first major championship of the women's season. One of the highlights of Tournament Week is the annual Champions Dinner, which celebrates the long and colorful history of one of the LPGA's marquee events. Golfing World was lucky enough to get an invite with a chance to soak up the pre-tournament atmosphere. At the LPGA, we don't have a lot of tournaments that have 40 plus years of history. You know, where generations have grown up watching and dreaming. This is one of those you dream of, you want to play. You know, this is kind of, you know, our Augusta, where most people can tell you about the 18th hole and the second or third shot in and how the putt breaks. So this is us. This is our history wrapped up in 18 holes. Between Annika being three-time champion, being, being the same list as a Mickey Wright, go down to you know, Nancy Lopez, Patty Sheehan, was the last event she won in 1996. So there's so many storylines among the champions here, and it just continues to grow every year. It's really exciting. It is such an honor to be at this dinner. I mean, just the names when you look around, you see these wonderful women and, and how many times they've won. How many wins we have in this room tonight is extraordinary. I would love to have somebody count that up and to know exactly how many that is. It's an honor to be in this, in this little club that we're in and uh, something that I'll remember the rest of my life. It's often said a tournament is only as good as the quality of its champions, and that certainly applies to the ANA inspiration. But the venue has a lot to do with it, with Mission Hills hosting every year since 1972 and proving a great test of every single winner. A lot of uh, who's who uh, on that list, and that just uh, represents what the golf course is about. It's a really good golf course. It's kind of right out in front of you, uh, you know, depending on what the weather does, but. Um, there's nothing tricked up about it. You just gotta hit really good shots into the greens and you gotta blow your rock. You know, I played it today and the rough is already really thick. The greens are really fast. Today it's blowing 40. Uh, hopefully that subsides before Thursday rolls around, which I think it will, um, but the course is in great shape. Really the defense of this golf course is the rough and the firmness of the green. And um, I don't know how firm it's gonna get, but it is pretty firm right now. And obviously, you know, it can't get windy out here. Whoever manages to conquer the Dinah Shore tournament course this year will write their name into the LPGA history books as a major championship winner. But they'll also get a chance to celebrate in a unique and now time-honored fashion with a leap into Poppy's Pond. What's great about the Leap into Poppy's Pond is it was an impromptu celebration that, you know, it didn't take on the first year and then all of a sudden, you know, it happened again with Dinah, one of the founders of this event, huge legacy here, but they have something that, you know, now girls that have played golf, uh, have, have, that's all they've ever known is that you leap into Poppy's Pond. We always looked up to that when we were growing up playing golf, so, um, you know, I always dreamed myself of, you know, jump, jumping in the pond that one day and obviously, um, I was able to do it in 2013, and it uh, feels huge honor to put my name on that wall. You walk by 18 and you think, am I gonna do a belly flop? Am I gonna do a cannonball? All these things kind of run through your mind, and then you're like, no, we're not gonna think about it. Just go out there and play golf, and if I get to be lucky enough on Sunday, then I'll, it'll hit me then. But um, there's so many kind of things going through your head when you win, and they're handing you the trophy, and then they say, okay, now you get to jump in the pond. There's no other tournament like it. There's no other tournament where, uh, where your celebration is captured in the history forever, you know? And so every year we play this, we show all the different leaps in Poppy's Pond. And uh, 2016 is gonna be a whole new leap and it's gonna be a whole new year. And um, you know, there's, there's 125 women that are thinking about jumping that thing on Sunday. That's what makes it great.